Hello and welcome back to Infinite Lenovo channel and welcome to IoT lecture series. In my previous video, I covered point system on chip. This video covers structure of system on chip. What is a system on chip? System on chip is an integrated circuit that includes various parts. It includes a processor, a bus and other elements. System on chip is also called a chip or an IC. These ICs are used in a wide range of electronic equipment like portable, handheld devices. This technology has the ability to place multiple subsystems on a single semiconductor chip. It uses a powerful processor and is capable of running software such as the desktop versions of OS. SOCs consumes less power, it has lower cost, it is inexpensive and higher reliability than the multi-chip systems. Look at the figure. This figure illustrates structure of SOC. The structure of SOC consists of 32-bit CPU cores with a separate core for USB. They are optimized for efficient power consumption because in the most cases SOC has separate power supply. Now let's take a look on components of SOC. Number one component is microcontrollers or microprocessors. Next component is memory blocks which include ROM, RAM, EEP ROM and flash memory. Let's see some more elements of SOC. The other elements of SOC are peripherals such as number one RTC real-time controller, number two is external interfaces which includes industry standard such as USB, Firewire, SPI or Ethernet. Number three is analog interfaces which includes ADCs and DACs. Number four is voltage regulators and power management circuits. And last is timing sources which includes oscillators and phase blocked loops. This is the diagram of structure of SOCs. It consists of CPU, microprocessor or microcontroller. It includes memory blocks such as RAM, ROM, EEP ROM and flash memory and other peripherals. The figure of structure of SOCs is much more than only CPU cores. A SOC is to some extent a circuit board with a bus interconnecting with a variety of different components. Because there is no standard, the manufacturer decides over the number and complexity of the components. Although most SOCs include a similar set of basic components, the SOCs are produced by different manufacturers. It is to mention that not all components within a SOC operate at the same clock speed, so CPU may work in gigahertz frequency and GPU with several hundred megahertz only. GPU is responsible for accelerating the rendering of graphics to the device display. SOCs are found in every consumer product from modems, mobile phones, DVD players, televisions and iPod. A big advantage of SOC is its tiny and universal structure. A tiny structure of the system is due to the placing components on the same circuit. Let's see some example. Number one example is PCB of Apple iPhone. Look at the figure 1.2. One of the two main PCBs of an Apple iPhone. Main SOC is top left center. Second example is a cell phone. An Apple SOC 2 ARM and 3 GPU cores made by arch rival Samsung. A modern mobile phone contains 8 or more radio transceivers counting the various cell phone standards, GPS, Wi-Fi, near field and Bluetooth. For the Apple iPhones, all use of SOC mixtures and some use of SOC ADC, DS. This is all about structure of SOC, system on chip and some example of SOC. Like this video, hit the subscribe button, 
share with your friends. This video will help them to learn Internet of Things. Stay tuned for more videos on IoT. Thank you for watching and have a great day.